Hi everyone, today we'll learn how to use system.assert or system.assert equals. You all know that it's a best practice to use system.assert or system.assert equals in your test classes. But you're not really sure how to use it. But you would like to find out. In the next few minutes, we'll see a very basic example of how to use both of these for maximum effect for maximum learning please do the following first open up your dev work open up dev console and execute anonymous um, so from dev console you just have to click open execute anonymous window and you'll see this window pop up Pause the video and repeat what I, what I am doing. This will help you get hands-on practice in using system assert and help you remember this and use it next time you have to write a test class or next time you go for an interview and they ask you if you've written test classes using system assert. First, let's look at this. The little guy, system assert. So we have two integers here. integer i equals 1, integer j equals 0. So system that assert, we know that integer i should come to 1, right? So in system that assert, we'll say i should equal to 1. All right, and when then we'll, right after this, we'll run a debug statement. So let's execute this. Let's execute this. And it worked. I did equal to one. Okay, let's go back to our anonymous window. If this did not work, if I say, so we, let's say we expected I to equal to zero, then this would not execute. Exception, assert exception, assertion failed. And here we are back to the starting point. So as you can see, if assertion fails, we cannot execute and the log says status assertion failed. However, if the assertion works, it will execute and status success and we get a debug message. Debug message right here, I did equal to one. All right, so this is the use of system assert was that pretty clear system assert all right now let's look at system that assert equals system that assert equals compares two values Here, let's say we have an integer i equal to one and integer j equals to zero and for the assert to work, for the assert to be successful, the first input variable and the second input variable have to equal. So let's uh, include a debug statement right after. Okay, let's include a system assert equals worked both variables were equal all right let's comment this out all right 
So we're testing system assert equals i and j have to equal. In this case, we know it'll fail, right? Because i is 1, j is 0. Assertion failed. Exception. Right here. So we were expecting a 1. Right here, right? i. But it was actually a 0. This is useful information, right? We were expecting a 1, but what, got, what got a 0, so that's why it's failed. So how can we make this pass? We can manually put a 1 here, or we can put a j equals to 1. Now let's execute. Okay, now it's success. We'll open the log. Take a look at the debug log. All right, system that assert equals worked. Both variables were equal. Success! Congratulations! I hope you're following along and can see the same in your dev console. All right, so this was the use of system that assert equals. Let's look at something else right now. Let's look at a different use of the system that assert. As you can remember, system that assert only has one input variable. This is also a very simple use of the system that assert, but it works. And it it makes the point come through. System dot today dot year equals 2018. Alright. Should this pass or fail? This year is 2018. Obviously it should pass. Let's include a system dot debug message right after. All right, something I didn't do correctly. Okay, I can remove it here. Let's execute. It worked. Let's debug. System result well worked. Current year is two thousand eighteen. And if we want to convert this into system that sort equals, all we have to do is of course let's just change the name. And we'll say 2018. So let's comment this out. System that sort equals. Do you think this will work? System dot today year will give us two thousand eighteen. So this is the expected. This is the actual. Let's actually change their places. It'll make more sense. Okay, so we expect. 2018 but actually what the code will show is 2018 okay success let's open it up debug system that sort equals worked current year is 2018 congratulations in the in these few minutes you just learned how to use system that assert and system that sort equals now go have a pizza or have a nice cup of tea and congrat congratulate yourself on learning something great today.